Today's kids face a range of issues that might make them feel isolated from bullying to learning disabilities, racism, or homophobia. A new book called Better With Books is a guide for parents to recommend books to their kids dealing with tough issues and building empathy for themselves and others. Author Melissa Hart joins me now. This is a great little you know, one-stop reading to help open conversations with your kids. Is that what you intended? That is exactly what I intended. This is a fun and creative reference book for parents and librarians, teachers, therapists, and teens themselves. It's so cool, and it um, it gets them reading. Yes. <laughs> That's the first thing. Yes. It introduces ideas, and then it gives you a chance as a family to discuss, however your family may may come together. Body Image, North of Beautiful by Justina Chen. Tell me about that recommendation. Ah, uh, that's a lovely book by Justina Chen about a girl who is stunning physically, except for a flaw on one cheek that colors her whole image of herself. And she has to learn throughout the story what true beauty is. Her readers learn along with her. And so kids can learn from this, but I think we as adults can learn as well. Absolutely. What is a flaw? What is a what is beauty? Those things are really interesting. Yes. Um, LGBT youth, Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. That is an amazing book by Benjamin Aleri Sainz about two boys in the 1980s on the Mexican-American border. Tough guys who fall in love with each other, and it is magical. The audiobook is narrated by Lin-Manuel Miranda. Oh, wow. So I would recommend. I would listen to anything he has to say. Absolutely. I don't believe he sings, though. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. Well, maybe he'll turn it into a rap later, but that would be, that would be pretty cool. This is a book that um, might be especially useful because it starts to get into territory that are, is new for younger kids or you know, you'll know, you decide as a parent what age you want to start talking about these things, but it also gives you a chance to break the ice. Exactly. And that makes a big difference. <clears throat> a book on immigration, Gabby Lost and Found by Angela Cervantes. Yes, so this is such an important book right now as immigration is something that we're talking about at our dinner tables and in our classrooms. This is about a tween girl, I think 12 years old, who watches her mother deported and has to live with her father, who's really not very present as a parent, and finds solace in finding homes for stray cats at wow. a shelter. And this is so timely, right? I exactly. mean, we're seeing these things in the news. Kids are hearing about them, and this might be a good way to get a discussion going. On race and ethnicity, my basmati bat mitzvah, oh, <laughs> which is already a delightful title by Paula J. Friedman. Isn't that a fun title? It. And the whole book is equally fun. It's got this bright, beautiful yellow color uh, cover with this um, this girl on it who uh, her picture reflects her Indian heritage. And it's just a rollicking good time about a girl who's bicultural, trying to figure out how to have her bat mitzvah in a sari. And <laughs> she wants it to look the way she wants. And right. she doesn't want to upset her family members. It's wow. just so well There's done. a lot there, right? There's a lot There's about a lot. religion and spirituality and culture. It's terrific. And it may be good for kids who are you know, coming from lots of different cultures to read, but it's also good for kids who aren't Absolutely. so that they understand yes. you know, a little bit more about insight into that. Okay. Nature and Environmentalism, The One and Only Ivan by Katherine Applegate. That is a splendid book. That book won the Newbery. It's actually about and narrated by a silverback gorilla that was in a Tacoma mall for 27 <laughs> years. For real. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And it's, it's told in the gorilla's voice. And if that sounds implausible, I urge people to pick it up and see how Catherine has done it. It is incredible in terms of building empathy right. for animals. Yes. That's such a good poignant thing. Physical disability is tackled in Out of My Mind by Sharon Draper. I was so lucky to get this author, Sharon Draper, to write the foreword to Better With Books. She wrote this book that knocked my socks off, loosely based on her own daughter. This is the, a book about a girl with severe cerebral palsy, so severe that the girl can't talk. She has the use of her thumbs, and one day she gets a computer that allows her to type everything that's going on in her mind, and it turns out she is intellectually brilliant and stuns her peers and her teachers, and there's no feel-good ending. It's extremely realistic and so powerful. Wow. How did you choose these books, and what was the impetus to do this to start with? 
I wanted, oh, the impetus was my daughter, actually, who um, is adopted from Oregon's foster care system and sort of imploded spectacularly in the second grade. She was so overcome with anxiety and depression and separation anxiety mm -hmm. that she would come home having twisted her hair into knots, having bitten big holes in her shirt. And so I had the luxury of readjusting my work schedule to homeschool her for a couple of years. So I decided to um, design a curriculum around literature that reflected her life as an adopted biracial um, child who was dealing with ADHD, a child who adored animals, and a child who loved music and dancing. So every month we would read a different novel, we would do a lot of cross-curricular activity, and I began to see over two years that the more we read, the more we both developed empathy for ourselves and for others who maybe didn't look like us. And that is a really important thing for a kid, right? Yes. To be able to look out in the world and find somebody else who looks like them, to not feel that kind of human isolation. Exactly. So the way I chose the books for Better With Books, I wanted as diverse a list as possible in many, many terms of that word diversity. And I wanted them published in the last 10 years to really reflect the experiences that our tweens and teens are having today. That makes perfect sense. Thank you so much. We sure. appreciate this. It's my pleasure. All of us here, the book that you've put together and the ideas that we can share with our kids. Thank you.